Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to edit multiple items at a time in a SharePoint list. There are several ways to do that. The easiest way is to simply click this Edit button here. That You can also do that by switching on the List tab here into the Quick Edit mode. That's the same thing. And as you'll notice here, I can change the issue status or issue priority on these. So if I'm going to show them to uh, change these to low, I can just do that very quickly. And as soon as I change the row, that update is made. You'll also notice at the bottom here, there's a little handle there which you can grab. So if I want to change these to normal, I can just drag down here and all these are changed to normal. You'll notice here that it's editing these. And once that little animation is gone, then the update has indeed been made. So that's two ways of doing edits. The third way, which I find more useful, is the access one. As you'll notice here, the access button is inactive. That often happens. I'm not really sure why, but Internet Explorer is supposed to detect that access is installed on the computer. In this case, it didn't. So in access, you can do the other way. You can just start Access 2013 or earlier versions too, and then create a blank da desktop database. The default name works just fine. And you close that table and work with external data connecting to a SharePoint list. Here I already have the site address typed in. Make sure that you type the address to the site, not to the specific list. And then you link the table. There we go. You don't want the import. And then you can just connect to the list that you want to work with. Notice that you'll find document libraries here too. That button there, which doesn't work in my case here, is um, not available in a document library. So I connect to the ticket list. And here I can do cool things like copy and paste works much better in here than it does in uh, the data sheet view, the quick edit view. So that's one way you can change multiple items, of course. You can't actually do the handle here, but you can do a search and replace. So if you do replace here, and then I can change all the active one to resolved. And as you see, it's going down the list now of my 82 items here and changing those. So that's a quick way of doing it, or quicker than doing it manually at least. I'll just cancel that now. As you see, it's all changed the result there. Third way of doing the same thing is creating a query that does the change for you. I'll create a query design there and take the IT tickets in, into the list, I'm adding that. And then I can just make that an update query. So I'll update the issue status to open where the current status is resolved. Oh, I should make it active, of course. As you see, that's an SQL query. And now when I run that, it updates all the items. And that's a much quicker way of doing it. Slightly more technical, but um, it's really quick. So that's three ways of updating multiple list items in a SharePoint list. Thank you for watching this demonstration.